Uh, thank you for that question. And yes, I was the person that ran that bill. Um, I would say that it is time for a cleanup bill. I believe we worked on this together last year and we're not able to get it through. Uh, that being said, I think it's time for several reasons. Number one, um, the bill went further on decreasing claims for injured workers than was ever the intent of the authors. And I believe was ever the intent of the legislature. We have some of the worst payouts in the nation for people that lose a limb to whatever. And to go back a bit on the pendulum for the people that are truly injured on the job is reasonable. Number two, there have been multiple portions that have been overturned by the Supreme Court. And anytime you have that with this huge, what was a 385 page bill, um, it never hurts to clean up and take those portions out. And uh, thirdly, I will say that uh, about three years after I passed that legislation, my daughter had a workers' comp injury. And it was interesting to see it on that side of the perspective. Uh, you never expect your daughter who's in a white collar uh, with her master's degree to have that type of injury at work that she did. It took us three months to get an MRI. I could have paid for the MRI, but that would have kicked her out of the workers' comp system. When she finally got in for the MRI and they required her to go to a lot of physical therapy in the meantime, she had a disc over so far hitting in her spinal cord, they said it was a miracle she had not become a quadriplegic from what had been required before they would pay for an MRI. <coughs> that was not the intent of the legislature. If somebody is injured on the job and it was not their fault and it was a safety conditions, you can be a compassionate legislator. So that being said, I think it is time for a cleanup bill. But well, one final question, and I appreciate your uh, being gracious to, to answer my questions. Uh, you have a safety program, and Commissioner Osborne has been involved in, in working on uh, getting resolution of workers' comp just in totality. But you have a, a safety program that the funding has decreased. So, can you tell us what that program is and then why the funding has decreased? So, a tiny portion off of workers' comp claims goes to fund a program at the Department of Labor called PIOSH and Safety Pays. PIOSH for the public sector, safety pays for any private business in all 77 counties to have free safety consultation services. Uh, because of that, and that's our funding stream, and because of the legislation that somebody passed years ago before they took on this role, we've had a market decrease in what pays for that. We are one of only seven states in the nation that has an exemption for federal OSHA to let us have the number one step in when there's something on the job. We are doing something right in Oklahoma that we have some of the best percentages of people not being injured on the job because of these proactive programs and part of that is funded by Workers' Comp and we will be working with you. And a quick aside to say that what we did I think was necessary. The old judicial system was not working. I'm not talking about overturning, but to do a clean up and to get us back to a middle portion I think is very reasonable and we will be supporting your bill. Thank you, Commissioner Osborne, for, for your comments. And committee, just remember that when we vote on my bill in like three hours. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Representative Ford, you're recognized for 